Hey everyone, today I decided to do something a bit different and try painting a landscape. I think I've only done one or two landscape designs before and I haven't really done a tutorial for them, so this was a bit of a challenge for me. Anyway, to start, I applied a base coat and white polish to all of my nails. I then applied a matte top coat over the white. The texture of the matte polish helps the paint that I'll be using stick to the base and builds opacity more quickly. I allowed the polish to dry completely before starting to paint the landscape. I began with the sky using a thin brush to add back and forth strokes of medium pink acrylic paint to the uppermost part of my nail. I then blended in a lighter pink and two shades of blue. I just continued blending in the colors until I was satisfied and then I repeated the process on the rest of my nails. Working my way down the nail, I next drew the outline of the mountain with dark blue paint. I started by guessing on where I wanted the lines and ended up having to repaint them several times, going higher up the nails to leave more room for the rest of the design. To ensure that the end result lined up properly, I also put my nails together and marked the edges of the nails so that I would know where to start each line. Once I had the top outline done, I filled in the entire area of each nail where I wanted the mountains with the same dark blue paint. You don't have to worry about if the bottoms of the mountain are even or if they extend down too far, because this part will get covered with the next layer of paint anyway. I allowed this first layer of blue to dry and then added some white to the top of the mountain to make it look snow capped. It would actually probably be easier to do this part after you add shadowing to the mountain, so you might want to save this step for later. But once the white was dry, I went back in and added some shadowing with two shades of gray and a bit of light blue. I then moved on to adding shadows to the mountain. This took me a few tries to get it how I wanted, but eventually I ended up using three shades of blue and a bluish gray, concentrating most of the darkest blue near the top of the mountain and adding the lighter shades toward the base. I allowed the paint to dry before moving on to the next section of painting. If you skipped the white peak earlier, this would be the time to go back and add that. For this next step, you'll want to use an old paintbrush because the technique will damage the bristles. I dipped my brush in a bit of dark green paint and pressed the brush directly onto my palette, blotting off excess paint. I then gently pressed the brush onto my nails, depositing tiny spots of green in the blank areas underneath the base of the mountain. I repeated this process with a lighter yellow-green, darker brown-green, and plain yellow and brown to create a field of grass. If you don't have an old brush to spare, you could also use your smallest nail brush to just add a bunch of individual tiny dots with the same color scheme, but the process will take you a lot longer. I allowed the green to dry before finishing the foreground by adding the tops of trees filled with cherry blossoms. I used the same technique as before to add a light pink and a medium pink in uneven waves at the tips of my nails. I then used my thinnest detail brush and dark brown paint to add some curving branches throughout the blossoms. To finish the painting, I used my detail brush to add a few dots of color over the branches. I used the same two pink shades as before and white to add some individual petals. You want some of these dots to overlap the branches to make it look like the petals are in front of the trees. Once the paint was dry, I applied a glossy top coat to smooth out the design and used a cotton swab dipped in water to gently remove the paint on my skin. I then sealed my nails with a satin top coat. I hope you all liked this design. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me do more landscape nail art in the future.